Well, hey everybody, welcome into this video editing tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today we're going to be talking about recording and syncing your audio in Premiere Pro. It all begins with one of these, uh, or really you could just use your hands. But basically the clapsticks, the slapsticks, the slate, allow you to place sort of a, a sharp point in your audio track. In fact, let me do that again because I want to give it some breathing room on either side. So I'm going to stop talking for a second, give it a clap, start talking again. And just like that, when I bring the audio from my external audio recorder into my video editor and take the video from this camera and the video from my screen, I'll be able to merge it all together because all I need to do is locate the spike in the audio and it's going to work beautifully. That's the manual way of doing it. There's an automated way to do it as well. And we're going to talk about both of those techniques in uh, in this tutorial. Now, just speaking of external recorders, I have this Zoom H5. I sometimes use it. I don't really use it for my tutorials. I use this for some other stuff. But this would be a great example of an external recorder. Uh, Zoom has a great, uh, relatively inexpensive recorder, the Zoom H1, uh, which is uh, really, really good. But the H, the H4, H5, H6, I'm not familiar with many of the other Zoom recorders. Uh, but the H5 works like a charm. I absolutely love it. We've got our audio. I have a test clip here in Premiere Pro. Let's check that out. Uh, you can see here I have my video track. Now the video, the, the video camera is capturing just like ambient audio, just like a crappy scratch track uh, just from the onboard microphone. Not really usable stuff. And then we have this zoom audio right here. So let's line this up manually first. So I'm going to drag the video tra track out onto my track. I've got kind of one area here where I started trying to talk and I messed it up and then I restarted uh, right out here. So I'm going to take my zoom audio and I'm going to drop that in place as well. You can see it's shorter than my video track, uh, but you can see sure enough I've got this little section right here where I started to talk. That's probably matching up with that. And then this area over here that's a bit longer which is probably going to match up with that. Now it's easier to see where I use the slapsticks on the zoom recorder. You can see these little spikes, right? Three very well defined spikes. And if I kind of look up in the blue, uh, I can see as well, I can use my hotkeys uh, the plus or minus keys to zoom in. Right there, I bet you that's where the clapstick comes down. Yep, sure enough, you can see that spike right there in the blue is where my clapsticks come down. Now I can hover over like A1 or Audio 1 or Audio 2 and just scroll up or down with my mouse wheel to make the, these audio waveforms a little bit bigger. So all I would need to do at this point is like grab this sound, I'm going to zoom back in, and drag it over until it kind of lines up. Now you can see I'm not lined up perfectly. So what I like to do to fine tune it is use a hotkey command or control in the arrow keys to just nudge that over into place. And what I can do here is turn my speakers on, and let's give this a listen. Here, our clap sticks, our, uh... Sounds pretty good. Uh, what I probably need to do is just mute this audio track, and let's try listening through it again. Looks pretty good. Looks like it's lined up. All we'd really need to do here is right click, choose audio gain, and boost this audio by about 10 or 12 decibels so we can really hear what's going on. We would just use our flap sticks here. And now we have the much higher quality audio from the zoom recorder being meshed to the nicer video from the video camera. So that's kind of the manual way to do it. And sometimes you're going to have to get in there and do it dirty and just, you know, kind of manually line everything up. We're uh, going to take a look at kind of the automated feature here in Premiere as well. All we really need to do for the auto syncing feature is to merge these two clips and create a new clip from them. There's a number of uh, settings that we can play with when we do this, but let's just give it a go. Uh, select this clip, command or shift click on the audio clips. So we're selecting both of them like that. Uh, and I'm going to right click and choose merge clips. There we go. And up pops a dialog box. Now this is actually going to create a new video clip. So let's name this uh, maybe synced or something like that. Now you can synchronize in or out points. And those are points that you would place like up here on the clip itself. Uh, maybe right where the clap sticks come down. You could do that for both the audio and the video clip. This could be useful if it's very difficult or the audio, the auto audio merging feature is not working in Premiere. And audio down here is what we're going to use. And it doesn't always 100% work. Uh, if that's not working, you might have to go to in or out points. Time code has to do with capture. Uh, kind of a standardized time code across multiple devices from a source on a shoot, and it's a little bit more complicated. We're not going to touch on that. Uh, but audio, this is the the automated feature, and basically Premiere is going to look at the audio in your audio track and the audio in the video file, and it's going to try to match those uh, waveforms as best as possible, and it does a really really good job almost all the time. Now, if you help it out with the clap sticks you're going to have even more accuracy. Uh, the higher quality audio you have from your video camera and the better clarity you have in the audio on your audio track, the be basically the better it's going to be. The, the better audio you capture in both devices, the more accurately and faster and all of that, that Premiere is going to be able to link this up and be able to do a great job every single time. 
virtually all the time it does a great job anyway but hey give it what help you can and it'll never let you down i'm going to set my track channel to mix downs i'm going to mix the the channels use audio time code from clip again that has to do with capturing um, and using constant time code across multiple cameras from one source again we're not going to touch on that now this is kind of interesting here we can remove the audio from the original video clip so we're, we're actually going to do that because we don't have any interest in keeping it we're going to knock it out and again when you blast through this it's going to take a few seconds to just merge some clips so knock out the audio we'll hit okay and we've got our new synced clip right here let's drag this onto our timeline you can see sure enough it looks like it's going to be synced up fairly well at least because we didn't have audio out here at the beginning or the end so that's you know that looks like at least that lined up correctly we can drag our ends in just like that and uh, once again we'll just select the audio track well, we've got two audio tracks here let's hit the letter G to bring up audio gain and again we'll boost this 10 15 decibels and let's give this a listen and see we'll, we'll just do the, the, the eye test and check to see what it looks like all right so I've got this camera set up here I'm recording audio into this Zoom H5. Looks pretty good. It looks like it meshed it up perfectly the first time. So there's a, a few different ways that you can mesh your audio together, but the auto feature works really, really well. And if you have some issues with it, you can always go in and manually do it. Just slap the audio onto the timeline, slap the video onto the timeline, push stuff around and be done with it. So either way, Premiere does a great job of it. Um, and you're going to have a bunch of fun with it. It's so much nicer to get great audio and mesh it with your great video um, and just have higher quality production in general. So for meshing audio and video in Premiere Pro, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.